Hello, I am the Scot, and this will be my book review on the novel Thief's Magic, written by Trudy Canavan and published by Orbit Books. The story is a fantasy novel largely based around magic and adventure. It's not as dark as novels like Game of Thrones, but its focus is more on young adults and general fantasy readers. And if you like those kind of stories, then this will be another novel for you. This will be the kind of story you will enjoy. If you're not a fan of magic or fantasy, then obviously this will not be the kind of book for you. The story focuses on two main plot lines, the major characters of Tien and Riel. I hope I'm not butchering the name. It's about how they perceive magic within their own societies and how said societies actually hold them back. Their societies basically betray them and it's about how they try to handle the situations as best they can whilst trying to stick to the same rules as their culture demands. On Tien's side it's about how magic and technology interrelate and work together but in doing so it creates problems while for Riel and her story arc it's about how magic and religion interrelate and how magic for her world is forbidden to all but the priests. And this is in many ways a little bit like modern day culture and the religions within what the said culture. While in the technological based culture, in Tien's story, what is the problem for his is that magic is actually depleting and as a resource it's soon going to disappear. Again, much like the modern cultures we have today, it can be very relatable. Both characters are trying to work within their own respective systems. So in some cases they succeed, while in others it doesn't really pan out. While there are clear messages within the story, I would say that the main purpose of it is just to tell a good story. And I believe that Trudy Ganovan succeeded in this, again, like she did in her previous novels. The story was actually really good. I found that the characters within the story were very believable, and it is up to interpretation whether you thought the characters were good, but I personally thought they were great. I thought they were very well done. My personal favourite would have been Tien over Riel, because his he tried to fight with the system as best he could while Riel seemed to just be constant victim. She felt like she was being manipulated in some way through sociological norms and it held back in her character just slightly. I still thought she was a great character, but I just thought Tien was just a little bit better. Nevertheless, I felt that they were both very likeable characters and the side characters, the smaller ones within the story, were also very good. One of the villains in the story, I won't give names, I felt they were a little cliched, but some of the best villains are cliched villains. Generally speaking, I thought that the pacing of the story was very good. There were points where the description can go on a little, especially on the side parts, on the descriptions of painting. There are scenes where a character is performing an artistic endeavour to paint a masterpiece and it does go into great detail about how they do it, what colours they're using, what utensils they're using, and it can go on a little bit. But I am very much nitpicking here because it's hard to actually find a flaw within the pacing, I thought. Other than that, I thought it was very good. It is down to your own interpretation, of course, because some readers might like that. Some readers might like very long passages of description so they can have more time within the moment, while others might prefer the plot to move a little bit faster. I would say the plot, generally speaking, within Thief's Magic is relatively quick and that actually works in favour for me personally, but for you it's just a matter of interpretation. The story was smooth, on point, if there were any plot holes I didn't see any. The characters and the choices they make do also make sense. While some are more victimised choices, still I understood why they made that choice. I understood why 
these characters were deciding upon actions that might either be good or bad depending on how it goes. As long as the choice made sense, that was what was important and in the story it worked. Now the part about it being a young adult book means that the story would need to be pretty clear about what was going on and again I felt that the story did that. It was complete. It was very clear. There was almost no confusion at all, and from the beginning to the end, I understood what was going on and how it was developing. And the only parts I really didn't know what was going on was because it was intentionally unclear by the author. It was intentional for the story to be unclear. The word choice and writing style was again very good. I find like Trudy Canavan is my all-time favourite author and it's largely part due to her writing style. I like the way it's written, I like the small description, I like the simplistic language within it because that broadens to a wider range audience and I happen to be part of that audience and I really enjoyed that kind of writing style. Some words can be repeated, like the word frowned is used quite consistently within it, the novel but it's barely noticeable unless you're looking for it. I need to emphasize again that I am massively nitpicking. You have to try and find the flaws and it was challenging within the story to be honest. It took a while for me to get into the story though, which is the same with most novels, but it does take it down a peg from Trudy Canavan's first trilogy, the Black Magician trilogy, which I was into from start to finish. I could almost never put the book down. While the Thief's Magic at the start, I not only could, I did put the book down. And it took me nearly a year to get back into and start reading it again. It took a few chapters and it didn't really help that there were two completely separate storylines that meant that when you were finished one storyline and starting the new one it was like you had to go through the whole thing again of getting into the plot. The two stories have very little to do with each other other than the aspects of magic. So for that reason it was like reading two different stories at the same time and that can be a bit daunting to some readers. And again, for that reason, it took me a wee while to get into it. But once I was in, once I was done the first few chapters of both stories, once I was past that segment, that was it. That was me unable then to put the book down. I was again overall enthralled with the story and I enjoyed it. Now, the, the Thief's Magic novel is written as start of a series of books. So it's it's written as if it was an overall introduction. Uh, the story didn't feel concluded at all. In fact, I didn't really feel like the story was in any way concluded. It was almost as if it was a complete cliffhanger. This does take away from it a little. For any readers, they have to go into reading this book knowing that they're going to be reading more because there's a lot more still to happen clearly after when I finished this and it's it's as if it was just an introduction. Nevertheless, the st introduction I felt was very good. Now overall, I felt like I did, had to do a lot of nitpicking within the story just to give an overall real review to the novel other than to constantly sing its praises. Now, this is a writer who inspired me with my own work and I felt that the story was very good and I look forward to reading the next novel within the series. Overall, I would give it an 8.5 out of 10 taking away marks just because it felt like it was a introduction and it did take me a wee while to get into it due to the two storylines it became can be a little bit jarring at times. So I would give the book an 8.5 out of 10. This is a great story. I look forward to reading more in the series. Thank you for listening to my review. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you all hopefully in the next one. Thank you. The Scott signing out.